Hold on, hold on. I have to change my duck. I have to change my duck. Um, should we have Peggy? Let's have Peggy here today. Peggy has not been here in ages. Seriously. How long has Peggy not been here for? Or we could have Quack. Or we could have Peggy. Peggy. Quack. Peggy. Oh, wait. Quack. Peggy. Quack. Peggy. Oh, Peggy. Quack. Peggy. Quack. Let's have Peggy. Just so I don't have to keep quack in throughout the entire stream. You know, I've really made this inconvenient for myself. Have I? I've really made this inconvenient for myself, haven't I? The, the, the rule is, every time I say this duck's name, which is quack, I have to do it like quack, 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 quack. It is a wonder how I can still talk after all of this. So, as my stream title says, I think that today in Simnautica, we're going to have to go deeper than we ever have gone before into the depths of for something four five four six B. Um That's right, right? It's four five four six B, right? Well anyways, so we've watched Sunbeam get destroyed. Right? I think. I think we've watched Sunbeam get destroyed, I think. Um And then we've also built a base, we've built a seamoth. We need the um fragments we need fragments okay so I, i'm just thinking i'm just making like a mental to-do list we need to make fragment we, we need to grab fragments of uh okay let me see audio is looking good oh background music off yes um we need to get fragments of like a lot of stuff we've got the mobile vehicle bay we've got the seam off uh let me just see. We'll check our inventory. Uh, I believe, okay, believe that we need the laser cutter still. Or did we already get that? We need the, to go on, to be on the Aurora, we need the laser cutter. We need the propulsion cannon. What else do we need before going to the Aurora? I don't think we need much else. And then we can just ride the sea glide there, right? Let me see. Google. Google. Um What do you need in the Aurora? Subnautica. What do you need for the Aurora? Laser cutter, repair gun, flashlight. Fire extinguisher, propulsion gun. Okay. I see. So, repair gun, flashlight, fire extinguisher, we've got those. And there's also one at the Aurora. I don't know why you would need three fire extinguishers. Do you need three fire extinguishers? Radiation suit, sea glide, a fire extinguisher, a knife, and then if you want to fully explore it and can already build them, the laser cutter and the propulsion cannon. The last two things are not that important for the vis first visit. Make sure your inventory is relatively empty. There's a lot of goodies on board. Lots of storage mods on your Seamoth. I'm not going to bring my Seamoth because I think that'll get trumped by the Reaper. Now, let me think. Let me oh, first. Chill, 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 Isen, chill. First, uh, we need to look at the blah 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 blueprints, blueprints, blueprints. Yes. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So we. Oh, stasis rifle. Um. That's not a must for the Aurora. I've gotten there. I've gotten there back. From the life pod to the Aurora, then from the Aurora back to the life pod, then back to the Aurora, then back to the Aurora again and then back to the life pod and I have not seen uh, any Reapers aside from on the last trip and it didn't even target me. So we've got our laser cutter. We need a propulsion cannon. That's what we need. I'm just thinking, okay, what does this need? Depth. 
health module. What is polyaniline? I have no idea what a polyaniline is. Depth module, depth module. I still don't get what the modification station is, but okay. Air storage module. Oh, a, sto a small storage locker. Okay, interesting. Depth module. I think let's focus on that first. Let me see. We just need a titanium ingot and two glass. Was it that? Titanium. Got. Glass. I mean, qu quartz to make the glass. Got. Uh, titanium ingot and two glass and then we can make the seam off dev module what's this polyaniline gold and hydrochloric acid how do i make hydrochloric acid deep shroom and salt deposit where do i find the deep shrooms i need the perimeter defense because the reapers will come and chomp me where do i find the deep shrooms okay this is where google google Google. Deep shroom. Subnautica. Found in abundance in the blood kelp zone. That sounds very safe and very much not like something will kill me. Uh, inactive lava zone, inactive lava zone, corridor, lost river, sea treaders, path, sea treaders, tunnel cave. None of them sound like particularly safe places. I'm just gonna say that. They all don't sound like very safe places. If you know what I mean. Okay, we've got our materials. I keep right clicking. Da -da -da. Seamoth depth module. De depth module. So we've got our stuff for it. This is probably in the uh, moon pool, right? So we'll just store it in here. We'll just store the materials in here and come back for it later. We need... We need to get our fragment thingies. Hey, don't touch my seam off. Deep shrooms. I mean... I can... can I, I can... Oh, let's get some water, actually. You know, Subnautica is the first game in which, whenever I think of getting water, I think of getting a fish. This is the first game to make me feel like that, and I don't know if that's meant to be a good thing. But hey, it works. I've been alive for this long. All because of these abundant... <clears throat> abundant, uh, abundant bladderfish. Abundant, yes. Very abundant. Oh gosh, it's a stalker. It's just eaten something. Did you eat a bladderfish? Mate, that was, that was my water supply. You know if they're called bladderfish, does that mean we're drinking their pee? We might be drinking their pee. Why does eating them raw give you a little bit of oxygen? Doesn't it give you does it give you like a bit of oxygen? Have I not scanned this? I haven't scanned this. No, it doesn't give you oxygen. Then where did I hear something about that? I don't know. Ah uh, la, la, la. Imagine if it did give oxygen though. Like if it gave oxygen, does that mean? That this fish has not been drinking its water. Its bladder is empty. Do fish even pee? Do fish even pee? I've only ever seen fish poop. Well, there's so many fish all around here. So does that mean I am also swimming in, like, partially fish pee? This is, this is a very interesting topic I've gotten myself into. I'm swimming in fish pee. Essentially, that's what's it. That that that, that make it, I'm just swimming in part part fish pee. This is great. Peeper, peeper, get over here, get over here, you little. 
you little thing. Get over here. Good, good. Indigenous life forms, people. And I've lost it. And I found it. Here. This is going to be a... Th th that, that part... Yeah, no, that was... That's the most comfortable part. That's the most comfortable uh, conversation I've ever had with my audience. Most comfortable. Very comfortable. Oh my god, it's a bladderfish frenzy. Frenzy, frenzy, frenzy. I'm grabbing you all. You're not escaping the sea glide, mate. Don't even think about it. Why don't I use my fit uh, sea glide for everything? Why do I not use my sea glide for everything? Probably because it has batteries and it's a pain to get it back. You're trying to escape. You're not escaping. Okay. I'm actually considering. Okay. I'm actually considering going to the blood kelp zone. Problem is, how far down is it? Is it like I can reach it if I park my sea moth somewhere around? Where the heck did that bladderfish go? Is it a, I can reach it? Like, is it like the Grand Reef where like I can reach it? I just gotta park my sea moth somewhere as an oxygen tank? Or is it, uh, or is it one of those like I'm never going to reach it? Until I get a Cyclops sort of thing. Might want to see. Oh my god, so many bladderfish. Surely soon I will have an inventory full sign. When I try to grab a bladderfish. Easily. Oh goodness, okay. We've got enough bladderfish to last us for a bit. The ocean is oldest style to fish pee. Change my mind. So when you drink ocean water, you're drinking fish pee water. Cursed lemonade. What color is fish pee? This is... This is a very awkward conversation. This is really a very terrible conversation. I... I do stuff. Okay, let's make our water and while I do that blood kelp zone kelp zone it is 150 to 675 meters okay so this is a this is a um this is this is a seam off job okay where how how to get to blood kelp zone northern corner of the map bordering the underwater islands Okay, so it contains crab squids, ampules, and a ghost boy. The ghost boy can be avoided as long as you stay away from the center of the biome. Yeah, no. Narrow trench that's not far from the life pod, please. Uh, going to the border between the grassy plateaus and the dunes, searching for a crack in the sea floor. Alright, where is the border between the... Oh my god, Subnautica map. Subnautica, I... Subnautica is a game that needs maps, honestly. Map, map, please. Okay, so we gotta see the gap between the, the, the. Ah, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. So there's a big blood kelp zone and there's a little blood kelp zone, and we're gonna have to get crazily close to the dunes. Uh, not sure how happy I am with that. Sea Treaders Path is pretty safe. We might as well go and check that out if we're going to the blood kelp zone. Anyways, how do I get the moon pool? Moon pool, some nautica. How do I get it? Seabed, 
on the Grand Reef Mushroom Forest and Rex in the Blood Cub Trench Dunes Grand Reef Mountain Sparse Reef. So just in that general area, hold on, just in that general area we of the Blood Cub Zone, we've got Sparse Reef and we've got the Sea Treaders Path. Okay, so we might as well just do a huge visit. Is there anything in the sparse reef? I remember that it's like one of the more like safe biomes. Sparse reef. Sparse reef. Sparse reef. Sparse reef. Dangers. Tiger plants. But other than that, nothing. So, I guess it will be a big trip to the sparse reef. I've made so much water that I've got no power anymore. This is insane. And I've still got bladderfish. That's more insane. Okay, we need to, we need to switch out batteries for all of these and then we'll be cool. R. Ah, oh, lovely. No oxygen. Ah, yes, it's night time and I've only got solar panels. Right. Um... That will not stop me from switching out the batteries. Actually, this one, I don't need to switch out the batteries of yet. And this one will switch the batteries out. Lovely, thank you. Right. Come on. Fabricator. Fabricator, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Cook the peeper. I'm generating the power. So let's just drink first. Eat. Drink. Uh, put away our batteries. I mean, I have no idea. Should I just litter? Or, you know what, I'm too lazy to litter. I'm too lazy to do anything. Peepa. Hey, yo! Oh my god, hello. Hello. You have not been to stream in a while. I missed you. Not blaming you. Not blaming you. You do, you do, you do, you do not have to come to every stream. I'm just saying, I noticed it and I miss my viewers when they don't come back for a while. This is making me sound incredibly entitled. No, I did that. You know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. Not saying that you're obligated to come to every stream. I'm just saying, I like to see you guys here. This is... There was, in fact, no more FNAF World streams. Oh my god. Yeah, so... No, the thing... The, 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 thing, the thing is... Like, I finished the game, and then I was like... I'll challenge hard mode later. But then I never challenged the hard mode. I'll, I'll do it, I promise. Next week. Next week. Promise, promise, promise. Okay. I gotta use the Aurora as a quick general indicator of direction so we've got to go right opposite from aurora to those grassy plateaus oh my god i just remembered on a seamoth mission i need my repair tool do i have my repair tool i don't have my repair tool okay stay here seamoth one second Sob, but when? 
I'll do it next week. I swear. I swear. I swear. Next week. Next week. FNAF World. Next week. Week FNAF World. I'll try not to get annoyed at life. Okay. Uh, where did I put my repair tool? Definitely not in here. Uh, this one. Wrong. Wrong one. This one. Here. All right. Repair tool. Alright, back to the seam off. Wherever the seam off is. There. Come on, seam off. Perform a leap out of the water. Okay, that was close enough. Uh, we need to go that way thank you for redeeming second whenever fish hit this giant mass of steel it breaks it because that makes sense okay so we're looking for a grassy plateaus we found the grassy plateaus Okay, and then if we go enough this way, hey, I gotta go take a shower. Be right back. No problem. Take your time. I also took a shower. Okay. And now if we go this way, we should see the mushroom forest. Okay, am I at the wrong grassy plateaus? One sec. I think I'm at the wrong grassy plateaus. Okay. So the right grassy plateaus is this way. I, I'm so good at navigation. Please, Subnautica, please add a map. Please. So the correct grassy plateaus near the dunes where reapers will eat me is over this way. Yep, I should be passing a little bit of the safe shallows and then grassy plateaus. Yes, we are at the right grassy plateaus now, I hope. Yes, I think. Um, mum, mum, mum. There's life pod 12. Now, do we see a big ravine somewhere? Not yet, but what I do see is this supply crate. Is Does this have something in it? That's a laser cutter. I'm not going to grab that. Is this the said giant trench? It looks like the giant trench. Based on the music change that is horrifying, I'm guessing this is the giant trench. Now, we are looking for deep shrooms. They are white mushrooms. Are these deep shrooms? What are you? Oxygen you are um, uh, ambiance. You are ambiance. Okay. This looks impossible to navigate. Let's try. Hold on. This looks like the jelly shroom caves. Okay. Now I clearly see. Where are the jelly shroom caves, anyways? Where even are the jelly shroom caves? I can't find the jelly shroom caves. Is this. Oh. A fish died. No, oh, this is looking very much like jelly shroom caves. 
Oh, but I see. Nearly dropped my phone. I see tiger plants. Am I in the right spot or not? Can it not decide? Hold on. Giant. Purple. Mushrooms. Subnautica. It is found beneath the grassy plateaus, kelp forests, and safe shallows. Lovely. I still don't understand, but okay. Tiger plant. Do not touch. Now, if this really was the blood kelp zone, I'd be concerned. Because it doesn't really have any kelp in it, does it? Oh gosh, we hit another fish. Okay, it's dead. Ah. Uh, yeah, no, I think those are the jelly shroom caves and we've got the wrong ravine. We need to go this way. I think. Is this way the dunes? If we're getting closer to the dunes, we are going in the right direction. Which I never thought I'd have to hear myself say, honestly, but here we are. Um, I cannot resist fragments. The possibility of fragments. Fragments. Please. What's with the creepy music? Shut up. Creepy as heck, okay? Cannot go inside. Cannot go inside. Keep eye on oxygen levels. Can go inside here. Need the laser cutter. Okay. Enter the sea moth. Um. Where? Is the big ravine I am promised. This is looking a lot like the dunes. This! I also see tiger plants here. Not particularly a load of kelp though. Yeah, no, I don't think this is the one. Reef facts. Okay, I thought I thought a reaper was gonna get me. Honestly, this looks like the dunes now. This way, this way, this way, this way. Definitely not that way. I'm not going to the dunes. The dunes have. The dunes don't have anything valuable, and they're deadly. That's a nope for me. Is this the ravine? Okay, I am just completely lost and confused now. Oh, there's a lot. Okay, wait. We are looking for a ravine. That just like, it's on the border of the sparse reefs, sea treaders path, and the dunes, and the grassy plateaus. So we gotta go find somewhere we, we can see the sparse reef. And the dunes and the grassy plateaus all at the same time have we found life pod 17 before is this a jelly shroom stuff I saw yes so I think we're heading in the complete wrong direction and we're meant to go that way Subnautica is very difficult to navigate. This way, I hope, I think. Is this the giant trench? I see kelp. I'm gonna assume this is the 
giant ravine being talked about. I didn't know there were warpers. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh no. Um, how are we going to progress through this? Subnautica? Warpers. How to deal with them. A charged blast from the Seamoth perimeter defense system is enough to cause them to warp away. I'm not sure I can use that very well. Look, mate, can you not attack me? I just need deep shrooms. I'll be cool. I'll be chill. It's screaming at me. Why does there have to be a warper exactly where I want to go? Why are there? By the way, every time I'm just like slowly talking like this, why are there blah blah blah, blah it means I'm googling it. Why are there warpers wherever I want to go? They can take you out of a seamoth and a prawn suit. Some nearby summon nearby creatures to attack you, knifing away at you. Well, I just saw... Oh, no. I thought that portal... Oh, that there's two Reapers. Oh, I hit a reef back. Okay. This is good. I am calm. I hate the warpers. Please let me get to where I want to go. I just want some deep shrooms, please. Their portal has to hit you, otherwise it won't teleport you. How did- where did the warpers even teleport you? Warper. Subnautica. Fish, stop swimming into me. Let's see. Warper. It once it detects a creature infected with the Kara bacterium, it will fire a teleportation orb at it. It can warp in aggressive fauna. It can uh, shoot the teleportation so that it's like right next to us, which means that it hits us at close range. Okay, I forgot that they existed and I no longer think this trip is a good idea. I just want deep shrooms. Okay, we can go get, we can get deep shrooms later. We can get deep shrooms later. 
Let's go home. 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 Hit a reef back. I like reef backs. I don't like warpers. Don't like warpers. Help me. Oh, but I feel like this is such a waste, though. Um. Well, now I know that uh, my the 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 ravine is southeast. I think south west southwest of my lovely, lovely life pod. So we'll go back there when we f when 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 we. When we need the deep shrooms, like we really need the deep shrooms, like I mean really really need the deep shrooms. <sighs> okay, what life pods have we are? Uh... Hold on. What life pod? Okay, we've done 13. We've... Okay, the last one that we did was 13. We're just waiting for a radio message right now, basically, right? Okay, while we do that... Oh! We have a thing called the scanner room. It can scan for fragments for us. Okay, beep beeps. So, this is life pod. We go northwest, big cave, big arch. There are two fragments there. Okay, anything else? Ah, go west, next to big mountain, near cave, on top of cave fragment. Okay, so we go northwest first, then we go west. Up scan. Northwest. The range is about three hundred meters, so we're gonna travel about, and it was, and it was like, like on the very edge, so we're gonna travel about like two hundred. 250 meters. Compass is very useful. Let's see how far is the life pot. Oh! We've passed it. Okay. It's just around this area then. Big cave, big arch. Okay. What are you? I think you're the mobile vehicle, babe. Let me just get oxygen first. Where's it gone? the heck okay here mobile vehicle bay okay and there's also supposed to be something else another one probably in this wreck that I saw 
probably in this wreck that I saw. Okay, one moment. We don't want to get too close to the stalkers. Let me just look around. Points of interest. Has that stalker lost interest in me? Okay, it has. I think that is probably one of the laser cutter ones. So let's go west. Uh, big mountain. Yes, big, big, I think big mountain. Mobile vehicle bay again. Okay, west. Near a big mountain. Wait, west from the scanning station. So would it be instead more this way? And perhaps not as far. This is so confusing. Ah, yes, I've probably missed something here. Maybe? Okay, look, I am in full confusion. Scanning range is 300 meters, right? Seek fluid intake. Okay, one moment. Okay, I am confused. I think if we want fragments, we might actually have to hang out around the um, Aurora. This will be fun. Um, just around the side of the Aurora, there's not much. Like, n not as many threats because all the Reapers spawn near the back on the other s side or at the front. So let's go to the Aurora. Let's go to the Aurora, and our main goal is to uh, scan fragments. We're just gonna get fragments. That is the goal. We're gonna get fragments for the propulsion cannon specifically. That is the one thing that we desperately need. So desperate that we go all the way this way. Why would I make such decisions for myself? Why am I so mean to myself? I see boxes. See glide. Laser. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Scan a room fragment. Sea glide, sea glide up. There's also something else down there, right? I saw something else. Let's just refill on that oxygen. See how close we are to the aurora. Okay. And anyways, I know how to deal with the Reaper Leviathan if I meet one. The thing is, I'm not so sure that I can keep calm enough to remember to do that. Oh, it's just a Seamoth fragment, okay. Let's see. I think that's also a scanner room fragment. We're just hunting for fragments, basically. Putting our life in danger. Where's the Aurora? Ah, yes. Okay, let's go this way. Gosh, we were heading, like, beeline straight to the front of the Aurora. 
I am a stupid person. I put my life at risk. And you're all stupid with me. So I mean there's that. Have we got our radiation suit on? Yes we do. Okay. Oh lots of metal salvage. Lots of metal salvage. Yes, this uh, yellowing of the water. We're clearly heading into the Aurora territory. I know that there's like little bits of land. So let's go. Little bits of land. Yes, exactly. All right. We're not gonna try to get into the Aurora because we don't have enough to like be able to explore it fully. We don't have the tools. Some nautica on land, everyone. Okay, so I know where to go for all the metal salvage in the future. Uh, as for fragments. So now that we have this, just like we know that this land is here, it is our safe space. I'm just gonna venture around. What's this giant block of titanium? Yeah, okay. Oh, box, battery. You know, I have not seen a time capsule, Cap capsule, yet. Fragment of propulsion cannon, propulsion cannon. Oh gosh, I thought that was a Reaper. No, that is not the Reaper. Isen, chill. Okay, so we've got our propulsion cannon, so technically we can just... We can just go and craft it. Go and craft stuff, and then we can just... Come back to the Aurora. And, uh... Go into the Aurora. Right? Laser cutter... Stuff, all that stuff I have. So I can just go into the Aurora, right? Is this Cyclops bit? Cyclops engine. Yes. Cyclops bits are all over the Aurora, so I think, I think I'm, yeah, I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna, like, take a bit of time to just go around and scan some stuff. What's this? Cyclops bridge, bridge fragment. Okay, I'm getting, okay, okay, that's good, that's good. When, when, when the creators, when the YouTube creators said, Lots of Cyclops fragments near the Aurora. I, I didn't think they meant this many Cyclops fragments around the Aurora. Cla calorie intake? Okay, one second. Peeper? Oh gosh, the peeper ran. I do not blame it for running. It was about to get devoured. I am heading dangerously close to the back of the Aurora. But honestly, what am I going to do about it? Data box. I mean, supply crate. Supply crate, not data box. Another Cyclops bridge part. Why am I getting so many batteries? Run. Swim. I think I vaguely heard a reaper off in the distance. If a reaper comes at us, my plan is take the sea glide and run. It's a heck of a good plan, right? I mean, there's not much more you can do. You just Take it and run. I am scared as heck of the reapers. I want a peeper for lunch. Peeper, peeper, peeper. Oh my god. Peeper. Tab. We've got. Oh. 
Okay, we can just do that and then drink some water and then we'll get another peeper. Okay, we'll just go down and get another peeper then. More peepers. Oh, lots of lots of stuff down here. Sand shark. Oh my god. Why are they so creepy? Oh my god, that, that one snuck up on me. I came very close to screaming. Genuinely, you would think that when it comes to screaming, I would be unable to control myself. No, I actually control myself quite well. Open that one. A boomerang. Boomerang fish. Boomerang fish. Boomerang fish. Boomerang fish. Eat. The boomerang. I forgot, it's not called a boomerang. It's just called a boomerang. It's not called a boomerang fish, it's just called a boomerang. We have whole fish here too. Whole fish. Eat. Okay, what else can we do? Peeper. Okay. Okay, now we're all filled up. Let's just catch one more peeper, this one. Just because it's offering itself to us. Oxygen. Oxygen. Okay, I was expecting this expedition to the Aurora to be far, 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 far more uh, intense. It wasn't. Let's just go back home now. And then we have to craft the propulsion cannon. We have to craft the... Actually, I might as well do that now. We'll just pin the stuff. Propulsion cannon. Laser cutter. So we need a battery. Uh, wiring kit. Diamonds. Titanium. And sulfur. So we've definitely got sulfur. We've got the diamonds, I think. We've got two diamonds. Wiring kit. I think I have enough silver to make a wiring kit. And then we gotta go back to the Aurora. I love my life. I love the fact that I chose this for myself. I, I, I love. I love it. I don't regret starting some Nautica at all. Yeah, no, I saw this like a meme and it's like some Nautica's 99% survival in the ocean and 1% genuine heart attack. I agree fully. And Pen Pe Peggy also agrees. Some Nautica, except for me, just because I get scared very easily, some Nautica's more like a, it's more like, it's more like 10% genuine heart attack. And then like 90% peaceful ocean living and I think the deeper I go I think I'm probably going to uh that that percentage of like genuine heart attack that's gonna increase by a lot remember my first uh, stream playing some Nautica and I just like I, I refused to go out at night because I was like I, I, I was under the impression that it was like the Minecraft concept like, all the monsters would either all come out, or at the very least be far more active at night. Now I just, now I just, now I just go wherever, whenever. I've got so many, I've got more batteries than when I started out. This is weird. Okay. Sulfur, we've got our stuff. And then... Diamond. Okay, that is easy. When are we going to get our next radio message? Laser cutter. Then for this, we're going to make a wiring kit. You've got. You've come a long. You've come a long way since your first Nautica stream. At the start, at the start, it was ninety percent heart attack. Same with Phasmo. Yeah. <laughs> Like, uh, but it's, it's scary. It's scary. It's very scary. You ignore that. I just try to scan my, uh, 
locker. You you try doing this. You try playing some Nautica. It's scary as heck. We'll keep our battery on. We'll keep our flashlight. Yeah. Okay, and we've got laser cutter. Survival knife. Uh, not that necessary for the Aurora, is it? We'll go like this. We should probably go out and catch some more peepers. That's what we should do. Oh, other thing. We should probably bring another oxygen tank. It's just for emergencies. I learned that you can, like, store another oxygen tank. I don't have enough titanium. Um, because I'm lazy, we're not going to do it. And I'm probably going to drown in the aurora. Okay. Reaper, I'm back. I'm coming back. These underwater sounds are creepy. No shit, mate. No shit, they're creepy. Peeper, 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 peeper. Thank you. Peeper, peeper, peeper. You see, setting out at night- oh, oh gosh. I was just asking for a radio message. Where was this last- where was this just then? Where was this before? Okay. We'll go back and we'll take the radio message and then we'll go to the Aurora. Probably it's another life pod. If it's a life pod, and not something random, uh, I'm going to just- I'm going to go to the life pod first. Life pod first, then the aurora. I missed the exit completely. I, I missed the entrance completely. From life pod 12, the one that I saw before. Let's go. I saw that one. I saw that one when I was, um, when I was trying to get to the, uh, what's it called? What's its face? Blood Kelp Zone. When I was trying to get to the Blood Kelp Zone, I saw that. So I know it's nowhere scary. I was about to say, I am so smart for setting off for the aurora during the night because by the time I got there, it would be day. Yeah. No, we've got our life pod situation. They probably got abducted by warpers and killed. I hit I don't know what I hit but okay we didn't bring the repair tool love this music Wait, did I see Life Pod 12? Because I don't think I went in... Because I don't think I went in this biome. This is scary. Giant electric worm. Okay, okay. We'll park the seam off here. Giant electric worms are gonna come to kill me, methinks. 
Is this life pod worth it? Where the heck is my... See, seam off, seam off, seam off, seam off. Please. Oh my god, okay. I'm sorry for not talking. I just felt like, you know, I, I have to just go. I have to just go in and then get out. That was my thought process. Let's go home. Am I missing anything? Because I don't want to come back here. Let's put 12. Loot. Repulsion cannon. Have I gotten that? Did I? Was that in the data box I got? Hold on. Just gotta check. Repulsion cannon? Repulsion cannon. Okay. Oh, sorry, I knocked my mic. Okay. Okay. It's in the bulb zone. Okay. Bulb zone. Interesting. Um, this is called the bulb. Bulb. Bulb zone. zone. Alright, alright. Let's go back to the life pod. We'll park our sea moth. And then we'll head to the aurora. People said, like, keep lots of inventory space. So I've just gotten, like, mostly just, like, med kits and food. If necessary, I will use up the med kits to uh, store stuff better. Run, 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 run back home. There's another radio message. Okay, we'll deal with that as well. We'll deal with that as well. This is going to be a whole lot of uh, swimming. I mean, not swimming, driving all over the place. I'm just going to hold down the W key and get a drink of water. Drink, drink. Radio. Radio, please, 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 please. <laughs> drink water and posture check. Okay, I just drank water, but I will drink it again. Drink the water and posture check. Sit up straight. Yay! Okay. Thank you for the redeem. It has been fulfilled. Radio. This is Life Pod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation devices active. Oh, perfect. Some big old fish in the water with us. I don't know how long we're going to last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay. Well, I mean, we're going to the Aurora anyways. So. Oh, we should probably bring our repair tool, right? There's probably something to do with the repair tool. I'm just going to use my Sea Glide for the Aurora. I think it's more useful. Okay. PDA approximate location. Is it downloads? Or survivors? Oh, this. Yeah, well you died. Sorry, mate. 
A uh, distress signal. Okay, perfect. It's on the side of the Aurora. It is not going to bring us to our doom. So let's go and grab Life Pod 4 stuff. Life Pod 4, if they had just landed a little bit further out, it would have been so much easier for them. Like, they may have been the other survivors, but they didn't. Sad. Should I perform a self scan? Oh, look, I'm infected. Oh, no. I'm really surprised. And I am crying. How will I ever live like this? It's a tragedy. Okay, where's this damn life pod? We probably need to get closer to the aurora, so let's go this way. Some nautica is just a bunch of swimming, heart attacks, and uh, what else? And exploration. Oh, we found it. Found ya. The Reapers chewed a hole in the side of you. Data box. Abandoned PDA. And we're cool. Now let me see. Let's get all the way close up to the Aurora. And how I managed to survive so many trips last time without ever properly getting to explore the Aurora was uh, it was a very stupid way I just stuck to the side of the ship in shallow water the whole way there You see, I'm braver. In this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Last, last leg of the race. And now we're on. Okay. No more Reaper danger. Instead, we have... Crab danger. Oh gosh, will this thing stop trembling? We get a fire extinguisher in there, right? Yep. Alright. Let me see. It can go in the space of the... Uh Repair tool. We brought our laser cutter, right? Yes, we did. Oh, will it calm down? Please. Thank you. Okay, this is where I died before. Essentially, what we gotta do is we gotta be very careful keep the a close very close eye on oxygen levels grab this PDA and we cannot get lost so we'll just do this a bit at a time very little bit at a time 
six four eight three okay six four eight three the lab does not have oxygen in it so let's refill on oxygen before we go in oh sorry I knocked the microphone again lovely okay in here in here what is that PDA non-functional I don't want non-functional stuff open the door and we're on this side okay one second allow me to fill up on my oxygen before I go can we actually get through over here? Probably not, from the looks of things. Oh goodness. This thing is incredibly unstable. Doesn't meet safely, safety protocols. This thing is not calming down, is it? Okay, we're gonna cut this. Yes, we're gonna cut this and then we're gonna go and get oxygen. We're gonna we're gonna have time to cut, don't worry. Okay, let's go. This is currently our only oxygen source. This is the door to the outside, right? Yeah. Okay, what's this? Is this also uh it's probably also a laser door. So hold on. I'm just gonna go and explore that bit and then we'll come back up here. Data terminal. Oh, there was a data terminal in the lab too. Wait, I can't panic. I can't panic. We've got enough time. We've got time. We've got time. Okay. So that's all, I think. I didn't see much else. So the rest of the aurora is probably through here. If I can manage to access it crab rave what did you do ah yes the crabs outside sorry your messages don't always send or like show as having been sent at the right time for me so sometimes I really got to figure out what you guys me meant when you were saying something because like I probably already forgot about it Oh gosh. What is this parkour? Some nautical devs want us to parkour. Okay, I made it somehow. Okay. What do I do for this? Confusion. Maybe we need to read the data terminal stuff. Uh, spectroscope scanner assigned species designator Reaper. Tempted to swallow it. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is sad. I think I saw this voice line. Anyways, how did they manage to scan that thing? Seriously. Cyclops. Lovely. We are Riley Robinson. Yep. 
1 to 25 launched successfully. Emergency bounce backs received from 8 life pods on planet surface. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, no, I don't want to read your uh, essay. Okay. People. Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. Alright. What do we do with the Aurora? How to Aurora? I'm gonna need to search Aurora. How to get through. How to get through the Aurora. Okay. Guide Aurora. 248 ratings. It's five stars. Okay, let's see. Wait, no, it doesn't really walk us through it. It just tells us the loot. How to get through that door. Problems. Okay. Hold on. Walk through. Some nautica aurora walk through. And while that plays, allow me to quickly go over and check. Because I think I may have missed stuff. Nope, not here. Okay, what about in this room? This giant room here. Oh! I think I did miss stuff. Oh gosh. Okay, anything beyond there? Doesn't look like it. Let's go through here. Seek fluid intake. Okay. Okay, so I was stupid. Let's try to explore this ourselves. Okay, hold on. Fluid intake. Fluid intake. It's telling us fluid intake. We're also gonna eat. Okay. Hum. Hum. Okay, never mind. We are gonna need the walkthrough. Help me. Help me, dude, on the internet. Wait, they didn't go through the way that we went through? Well. Okay, let me see how they went through. Oh, there's another entrance. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. That is likely why I'm stuck. Is there another entrance? I really can't tell with this. There's like an upper entrance. Ah, oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh gosh, I did not realize. I did not realize I was dying. That was a close one, okay. Love that, love that, love that. Ah, oh, I'm okay. We're gonna have to go back through everything, basically. That's what it's saying. Okay, so that is why I have always I have just been stuck. Let's go out. Oh gosh, we nearly died. When I saw that zero, I was like, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Upper entrance. Let's go. So for the upper entrance, we're gonna have to do a bit more swimming. Just a bit more. To get over there, roughly. Or we can do a bit of walking. I think we could do a bit of walking. Huh? Warning. Ship's structure. 
Structural integrity is low. I know that. Equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. Oh yeah, no, I didn't know that it was risky. Thanks, PDA. I had no idea that exploring the Aurora was risky. Thanks. Thanks. Great. I didn't know that one existed. I did not know that voice line existed. This is creepy as heck. I'm scared as F. Where is this entrance? I strangely feel very safe inside the Aurora now. Oh my god, it's dead. The power source is dead. It's dead, okay. Wait, no. Release. Grab this. Release. Okay, we're not gonna grab the crab then. Yes, this way, this way. This is where the tutorial go it went. How does the propulsion cannon run out of power so fast? It must be all the crabs that we throw. Just chuck into the ocean. Yes, yes, here. With a data box. I come armed. With a fire extinguisher. And there's another one on the ground, I think. Yes, that's good. Okay, thanks. Oh. Oops. Yeah, Isen, when there is when there is red flame rising from the ground, do not walk over it. Thank you. No more fuel on this one. This is why it said five fire extinguishers, I see. Then how did I get the black box data? Oh, we don't need to put out all of these fires on the way. Propulsion cannon fragment. You can scan that for titanium. Okay. Uh, let's go cargo bay. Wait. Wait. Oh my god, and there's so many levels too. Okay. We can't get past that. Let's go down. Knowing that, like, the battery goes so low, like, so fast, I am planning to just use the propulsion cannon as little as possible. Is this the one where we needed our uh, little, like, pin thing from the PDA? No. 2679? Is this it? I mean, it said the cargo bay. Wait, ah, uh, my god. Nope, okay. We're missing something. Some Nautica cargo bay. Wait. Nope, 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 nope. Explore. So, if we can't get into the cargo bay, and I don't think we have any codes for it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Then, that must mean that we should probably go to the admin 
section first. We'll go to Admin first and then we'll go to Cargo Bay. Specifically Cargo Bay 3. Also with the fire extinguisher fuel being so low as well, I'm just going to put out the fires that are absolutely necessary for us to put out. Thrown. Okay. Oh, let's get all of this stuff. Uh, okay, let's see. Survival package. No, we don't need that. We need our data downloads. What was this data download? This fire is bothering me. PDA? PDA? Notes to self? Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? 40 weeks before we get home. 40 weeks it feels like before we get home. Make this number. Never. Uh, June. Sorry, I... Wait, oh my god. I nearly was thinking, like, what's the 18th month of the year? June 18th, used birthday. Oh. Not enough. Okay, June 18th. Okay, hold on, no, no, I'm just gonna read this entire thing. So here we are, finally, in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate, to send ships to mine resources, to build more expensive ships, to install fancier phase gates. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? June 18th, use birthday. 40 weeks before we get home. 40 weeks it feels like before we get home. Not enough, credits or terrors paying me. 1454 cargo bay code. Yes, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see why I said this? So it's 1454, right? 1454, yes. I mean, I can see just fine without this. Although with how many batteries these data boxes are giving me, I, I don't think I should be this conservative on power. But genuinely, I can see properly without it. 1454, 1454. And then we also have the code to the captain's quarters, which I'm guessing we're going to get through here. Right, everything's burning and it's making an annoying sound that I hate. Can we scan you? Floodlight. We can scan you. PDA. I love the little like light cone. Oh my god, that's reminded me of Honkai Starro. Haven't played that in ages. Nutrient block. That is very help helpful. Thank you. Another nutrient block. I love the little like cones of light that like emit from the PDAs. It makes it so much easier to find. Okay, we're gonna go down there in a second. Let me just go around and see if there's any more data boxes like this one here. Oh, and there's another one. Okay, we've got water. Okay, it's basically just helping us sustain our long trip here and back. Although once we get into open water, we won't be very worried at all about like food and everything. Let's get ourselves stocked up on water though. Nutrient block should probably like, it's plus 75, okay, it'll sustain us for ages. It'll sustain us for ages. What's this now? Okay, one second, supply crate, what are you, you, I have no idea what this is, oh my god, what do I do, 
what I do. Wait, med kit, med kit, med kit, med kit, med kit. Pause. Oh my god, okay, what do we do with this? I forgot to bring my survival knife out here. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Subnautica, Aurora, biting worms. You're being leeched. I know I'm being leeched. Give me a second. De Aurora, biting worms. How to deal with... You can bash them with most other tools. Okay. Am I back? Tell me if I'm back, please. Okay, I'm back. Okay, internet died on me. Plenty of bleeders are killing me right now, so give me a second. Medicate myself. And we run. We run away. Prawn Bay locker room. I have the naive thought that uh, if we go fast enough, the bleeders won't catch up to me. I can whack them with other tools, which is a good thing because I didn't bring my survival knife. I was like, oh, I don't need this for the Aurora. Yeah, nope. Oh gosh, the lag. Oh gosh, the lag. I think my internet just needs to chill for a bit. Oh, it knows. It it knows. It knows. It knows we need the med kits. We should just check in all of our um Okay, hold on, my internet needs to calm down. Uh, I'm just gonna survey the room as well. We need to check in all of the open lockers then. They're gonna give us loot. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. That one was a PDA one. Oh gosh, too much lag, too much lag. So much lag. Water and a battery. Is there another PDA here? No. Prawn Bay. Land. Land. Does land mean no bleeders? Not necessarily, but it probably means it's more unlikely to get bleeders. No more fuel. Oh gosh, okay. Don't think we can access that. Can we? Can we repair this with a repair tool? It looks like something we can repair with a repair tool. Yeah. Okay. Open door. Oh, yay. Okay, okay. What this all does mean, though, 
is that uh, if if I need to put out another fire on the way, I'm just gonna have to uh, I'm just gonna have to just go with it. I can't be picky anymore. I'm just gonna have to get burned. Prawn Soup Bay. Can't scan that. Yeah, no, this Aurora trip is being very hard on my uh, Prawn Soup Fragment. Captain's one. Captain's quarters. I'm guessing or like wherever like the captain like usually is is probably where this black box signal is coming from let's scan this since clearly the game wants this oh data box I mean not data box supply crate power cell it this is basically just giving us the uh, stuff that we need for the prawn suit right How many prawn suit fragments we need? Four. And we have another radio message. Okay, one moment. Mate, I'm 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 I can't be bothered right now. I'm doing something a little bit important, if you can't tell. Can I get over this myself? Okay, we got on, we got on. Is this a prawn suit fragment? Prawn suit fragment. And then we just need one more. This is lagging so bad, but it's okay. It's okay. We can do it. We can do it. I'm just going to get the right angle to do this. I said the right angle. Okay, last one. And then we have our prawn suit. Yay. Okay. Living quarters. Canteen. Bar table. This this is a large canteen for a uh, hundred and fifty something people. Great big canteen, isn't it? Huge. Counter. Oh, another fire extinguisher, please. Thank you. Single wall shelf. How long have we been playing? About two hours. Okay. Can this be broken? No. Okay. That's probably the menu over there. Oh gosh, I'm being burned. Uh, supply. Nutrient block. More nutrient blocks. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna throw all of these down. And then I'm also gonna drink, drink, eat. Med kit. Okay. Trip block. Filtered water. 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 All right. And to think, like, hold on. Let me just retrace the steps I did to come over here. Hold on. Pause. Uh, so I went in. So I had to like move and destroy the- either way there's like a whole nother side, right? 
Yeah, there's like the drive place. Yes, I remember now. Okay, the drive, the place. You know, like the driver room? The driver room. That's what it was called. Cabin three. Oh, look. Pictures of people on... Yeah. Everyone just died. Pictures of their loved ones. Cabin 1 code. They didn't have a cabin 1 code, right? Something's flashing blue in here. Okay. Let's see. Do I have a code? Two six seven nine. Two six seven nine. And hopefully the captain will have the code to cabin one. Oh look, an Aurora miniature. Captain's log. Open the supply crate, take the item. Oh, no, not. Oh, let's save, actually. Let's save. Internet is dying. Hmm. No. So he's just like, he's playing a little simulator. Okay, okay. Oh! Oh, okay. 1869. Okay, we're just gonna read all of this, basically. Yep, secret mission to res uh, rescue the Degasi. Last recorded transmissions. Altera Corp. National motto, get what you deserve. Lovely. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Wow. Okay, so basically he's saying, come and break all the rules with me. One eight six nine. Why does only cabin one have a code? Blue cap. I want a blue cap. Drink. Um, I'll drop the titanium. I want the blue cap. Uh, water. First aid kit, not the titanium. First aid kit. Thank you. What else? Nothing else? Okay, let's read all the PDA stuff we got. Neptune escape rocket. Yep, this is what we do to escape, to leave after we, after we've cured ourselves. Time capsule. Hmm. Yes, I know about that. All right. Nothing else. Was there no PDA here? Well, there was a PDA here. Data downloads, Aurora. No, not that. There was a PDA here, right? There was. Okay, now I'm confused. Maybe it was one of the, um, like, info notes that we read. 
Okay, we've got all of that. Did we go over here? Prawn suit poster C. I want it. I want it. Oh my god, okay. Okay, how about we get our scanner a new battery and throw this one away. I did bring my survival knife. Okay. Let's put that in one. Keep compost to drop that one. Um, oh, this is tough. We're never going to need this many nutrient blocks, right? Oh, single bed. You can scan that. Single bed. Now I'm lost. Alright, so this is where I came from. I went over there first. Ah, okay. I'm no longer lost. Give me a second just to blast down cabin 7. And I'm going to get burned anyway when I get in anyways. Uh, PDA. Battery. Disinfected water. Do we need all of this? Honestly. We're full again. You can, this is a pick up a bull. Okay, hold on, I need this. We'll use a med kit. I know, I probably sh Oh. Inventory is still full. All right, it definitely isn't one slot. <sighs> okay, what do we do? The sea glide? The sea glide? Okay. Wait, wait. Who followed? Who followed? Stream manager. Nino Slav. Oh, hello. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Carry on. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. Drop. Don't burn. Don't burn the carryall. Open the storage, and we're going to put all our batteries in there. It's going to save and all of the stuff that we're not going to need. It's going to save us inventory space. Bag is not empty, cannot pick up. Oh no! It's not going to save us inventory space. Is carry all not meant to be like... You can carry everything? Okay. What's the point of a carry all if you can't pick it up when it's... Got stuff in it? No idea. Nutrient block. Inventory is full. Consume. So much lag. So much lag. Oh, the. Oh, no, 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 no. We want to scan. Hello, me. Is this because of stream? Because it's literally three FPS. It's lagging so hard. Ah. Okay, one second. Yeah, my internet is not having it today. I'm very sorry, everyone. Uh, let me see if I can fix it. One second. Somebody gave me, like, uh, tips for the graphics. But I went on afterwards. Oh, by the way, it's meant to be a still image right now. I understand. Oh, oh I see. I see exactly what you mean. 
Let me see, let me see, let me see. I don't get bit rate. Bit rate. Bit rate. Streaming. Right, bit rate for your speed. It's for your stream. Order bit rates for streaming is at. Okay. Hold on. Maximum of 6,000. I have it currently at like 5,000. So maybe let's put that down and let's see if that helps. I'll put it at like 2,000. Okay, no, it says 720p starts at about 2,500. So let's put 2,750. This is meant to be a still image, but right now, by the way, I am trying to do this. Okay. Now let me test and see. It's lagging a little bit for me. It is lagging a little bit for me, okay? Um, but it's definitely not lagging as hard as I see it on, as I saw it on stream when you were mentioning it. Thank you for telling me. Ah, uh, it's still lagging. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to try to fix it, that, guys. Don't worry. Do not worry. Do not worry in the slightest. Ain't a real VTuber stream without some scuff. Exactly. Um, what if I put the bitrate down even more? Hi. Okay. All right. Now let's see. And also, I'm going to see if I can get the Subnautica settings to be better. FPS cap. Okay. I think we need to go a little bit lighter. Let me see. Let me see. We can just go like 60, right? Okay, I'm moving around right now. It is a little laggy for me, but it's not super laggy. Let me just watch and see what it is like for you guys. Okay, so it's gone from 3 FPS to about like 4. Right. <sighs> this is so scuffed, I'm sorry. Let me see. Stream output. I think it's also partly because we're in the Aurora, like the graphics effects are so strong. Um, how to uh, improve stream lag. It seems that you may need better PC. I feel your pain since I literally, I have literally potato PC without graphic card. Mate, you know what I have? Um, I, I have a laptop and it's not even a gaming laptop. It's meant for work and school. Thumbs up. Okay, I'm going to close Chrome. And let's see what that does. 
It's definitely running smoother on my end. Uh, I'm just watching from the stream from from the stream manager. I'm just gonna see if it's smoother for you guys. Okay, okay, okay. Closing Chrome. That one action has turned it from about four FPS to about like six. Six or seven. Okay, I would argue this is this is probably about as good as I can get it to be for now. Again, I apologize. Uh, we've been here, we've been here, and we've... Yes, okay. Ow. Yeah, exactly, ow. Um... No, this still looks painful to watch for you guys. So give me a second. Uh, I'll see if I can get the, uh, I'll see if I can set the, um, so I can't edit the video settings until I stop streaming. So after stream, I will quickly put the FPS down a bit and put the resolution down a bit. Right now I'm just doing whatever I can on stream. Let me see if Google will help with this. Faster stream OBS. No, I shouldn't say faster because that um that implies that I want it like top uh smoother stream. Lower frame rate, change your X264 preset. What is the X264 preset? Let me see. Video bit rate. Audio bit right, yep, yep, yep. Output mode advanced. Yeah, it is it's already advanced. Okay, it's just giving me a step by step on um it's literally just giving me a step by step on how to make a Twitch account now. Okay, back. Uh, advanced section of the OBS settings, there is a network area. Okay, where is this network area? Let me see. I'm on advanced. Smoother. Downscale the output resolution, which I can't do right now. Lower the frame rate, can't do it right now. Change your X24 preset, can't do right now. Upgrade hardware. Wow. Very surprising. Okay. I think this X264 is what the person was talking about. I just couldn't find it before. All right. We're going to do, we're going to fix this after stream. I'm going to stop the stream in a bit anyway, so don't worry. Cabin six. Yep. No, 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 no. What are you? Water. I do not have the space for the water. Please help me. We can do a bit. We can drink a little bit. Yes, we can drink a little bit. Uh, cabin 5 is probably inaccessible. The game has made that pretty obvious for us. Okay. I understand, you know, Slav, that um, this, the bitrate, I mean, not the bitrate, the FPS is still terrible, but can you tell an improvement from what you were seeing before? Is it like, even if it's slightly improved, even if it's still shit, is it like, before it was shit shit, this time, right now, it's only shit. Is it better than before? I gotta know if what I'm doing is working. 
This is so painful. It is slightly. Okay. Good to know. I'll just keep turning those settings down. I mean, it's still perfectly visible right now. Let me see if I can get the bit rate down just a little bit more. Output. Bit rate. Okay. Bit rate's currently at a thousand. It may, like, very, very slightly help. But again, it's gonna be very, very slight. I'm gonna. Nothing. All this is only gonna help the tiniest little bit until I end stream and fix, like. You know, it's it's not going to help until I. Nothing's gonna help massively until I fix the stream after stream. Because I can't access any of the video settings right now. Yeah, sorry that this was your first experience. Usually my Subnautica streams are not actually this laggy. I think it's just because I'm in the Aurora. Whew. Drive core, and while I fix... You think I got a choice here, mate? Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Okay, so let's make quick preparation for this. We've got our survival knife. We need our repair tool. Okay, that looks good. We just need to go down and repair them. And we've got to whack the bleeders. Not the biters, the bleeders. They're called bleeders. We're, we're gonna- this is gonna be painful. Ten. Okay. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. I wonder why we're repairing the drive- oh right, yes. If it's not like fixed within 24 hours, it will have devastating effects on the local wildlife. I remember now. Oxygen first, then we'll fix those. Okay, I'm glad this is easier than I thought it was. It literally just tells you where it is. Oh gosh, stream's dead again. Okay. Um, stay with me. I think it's just because of Subnautica graphics. Okay, no, this is not working out. Okay, it's sort of working again. It's sort of working. We have not got a bleeder on us yet. Repair, repair. Okay. Um, stream quality is absolutely dead. I think the more I'm repairing, the more it's like fixing itself because I think I think it's. All the particles and the extra graphics and stuff from the, like needing to be repaired bits that are like really making this whole thing painful. It's just it's just dead on me. 
Mate just won't leave. Okay, so we've only got one bleeder that's been on me so far. Okay, and these two should be the last ones. Yeah, you can see from this whole room here why it's like, it's really hard on my laptop right now. Last one. Last one. Yeah! Repair the Aurora reactor! We did it! Yay! And it's playing the peaceful music. It's playing the peaceful music for us. Okay, where is our way out? That was the way out. Is there anything else that we needed to explore in the Aurora? What to do in Aurora? Subnautica. Let's see. Aurora. Okay, entrances. No! No, shoot! Oh no. Oh, come on. I just died. I forgot to pause the game. Oh gosh. Okay, let's see what we lost. I am dying right now. Okay. Drive room. Yep, yep. Cargo bay, admin office. Admin office. We haven't gone to the admin office. We've gone to all the other stuff. Lab. Yes, we need to go to the admin office. Where is the admin office? Okay, so we're in the uh, drive room. The admin office. Oh, wait, so I think I did go to the admin office. I think I did go to the admin office. Okay, we died. Love that. Hey, we didn't lose these things. Okay, I gotta go back and stream and just check. Hold on. I gotta go back and stream and check what I lost. I think I mostly just lost... Batteries? Power cell, food, and water. Is that worth going back for? I think the only things really worth going back for are the power cells. But even they're not like super worth it. Because we can craft them, right? We can craft the big power cells. Power cell, yeah, just two batteries and a silicone rubber. Okay, they're not very worth it then. Oh my god, I had medkits on me. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Seven was also one of the like very um unfortunate ones. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just drop the loot down. I'm so stupid. We didn't lose our Gary fish. Lovely. And we didn't lose one filtered water. So let's just do that real quick. And we didn't lose one battery. Okay, this game is really weird in what it takes from us. Um, seven is honestly one of the very unlucky, like very, very, very unlucky pods in Subnautica. Because they, they, they could have just... If, if the person or the people inside of Life Pod 7 
did not have a busted fabricator. They they could have lived. They just they could have lived. Okay. It's like those look like the that looks like the sparse reef, I think. Um since I've got a very laggy stream, let's not do this today. It's lagging even in safe shallows. Why? Okay, I'll fix it after stream. I've just saved my game. I saved it. And now I quit. And now because I'm I, I'm scared anyways, I'll just go back and just double check that it's been fixed. It, it's been saved. Yes, six hours, 24 minutes. Quit. Okay. I will fix the stream lag. I, I, or more specifically, I'll fix the some nautica lag. Oh uh, my god. Yeah, more specifically, I'll fix the some nautica lag. Because looking at the heart bouncy bouncy thing, my stream itself doesn't seem to be the problem. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, right. We will leave. That life pod for another day because I don't want to go back to a sparse reef. I think we've streamed two hours and eighteen minutes. Let's go, and we sub uh, we, we 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 explored the entirety of the aurora, which is not what I expected us to do today. Oh gosh, um, we are going to raid somebody. Yes, this is the end of the stream. We've got English creepy alive. Let's let's read English. English is playing phasmophobia. English is a very nice person. Um <clears throat> and English has just recently hit affiliates, so make sure to go ahead and uh congratulate him. And also uh there are also like a few channel point redeems. My favourite is the fake ghost event. Please spam that. Not really spam, please have a cool down uh but like please redeem that to scare the shit out of english for me i'll, I'll also be there another banger stream thanks thank you guys for coming to stream uh i'll i won't be streaming on the weekends because i've got some things i want to do with family yep and also because i've got like what do I have? I've already finished one exam, but we've also I've also got a tournament, an essay, a mock exam, and another exam that I need to do. So that's that. Uh, that and that's just next week. So the weekend will also be study days for me, I think. Alright, okay. I'm not gonna waste any more time. English looks like he's just started going around playing in Phasmophobia. He is quite skilled, um, but also quite scared of Phasmophobia. Anyways, enough of me talking. English's stream is very, very smooth. Unlike mine. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, make sure to go and say hi to English. Thank you guys again for coming. We will raid English now. Thank you for coming, everybody. Wait, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna shout out English crew. Crew Pierre. Okay, that's the shout out, and then I'll raid now. Okay, goodbye, everybody.